this tutorial is going to teach you how to load your data automatically as opposed to clicking a load button um, and this is a lot better if you're making an application so the user doesn't have to constantly click it um, we're going to see that in two ways um, so if you open up uh, this FLA which you can find in the description below um, then we can get started so press F9 um, and you'll see we have our code that we made previously for our load button and what we're going to do here is substitute this section with the initialization code which is the first way we are going to automatically load and I'm just going to paste that here for us and then delete this um, so what this says is on initialization of the application so the second we run the SWF this will run um, which is what we want because our frame we only have one frame the second it turns on it loads it um, and we can check this out by pressing control enter um, and sure enough there it is there are the names that we saved in there you can see that it's worked here um, due to our um, trace message down here um, so perfect it worked but sometimes you might need to load data on a different frame or you might not want to do it on initialization um, and that's how we're going to look at the second way of doing it um, which is adding an event listener that looks for frame entry so I'm going to copy that in here um, and that's what this one here is so this is an event listener that instead of on mouse click it's listening for when the frame or the timeline reaches a specific frame um, and I've just given it the name auto handler uh, the only catch is we have to remove it at the end of its use otherwise it will just keep spamming um, which is not fun so we're just going to move some of these brackets around there we go um, and we obviously need to open it up up there let's delete that for a bit of space efficiency um, and there you go so it's our loading stuff all works just like before except this time it'll happen based on whether we when we enter the frame as opposed to when we click a button um, and if we press control enter same thing all good and it works so there's two easy ways that you can automatically load your data as opposed to using a loading button